Hitler's missing globe. It has to be one of the world's most famous globe. Charlie Chaplin parodied the globe in his film The Great Dictator. This massive globe known as the Hitler's globe or the Columbus globe for state and industry leaders was specially built for Adolf Hitler. It was huge and it was Hitler's prized possession. It sat in a custom built stand in his office at the new Reich Chancellery and after the war it disappeared. Replicas and other Nazi globes exist including some with Germany bullet holed almost certainly by Soviet or American soldiers but the iconic Hitler globe has an unknown whereabouts. Once the Red Army captured Berlin Soviet Minister of Internal Affairs Leverente Beraya was the first to inspect the Reich Chancellery and it is possible that he took the globe to the KGB headquarters at Lubyanka. It could still be there but the KGB or now the FSB refused to confirm or deny this. Over the years other Nazi globes have been recovered. Even one discovered at war's end by an American soldier inside Hitler's globe nest compound near the Bavarian Alps. That one appeared too small to have been Hitler's famed globe. Nonetheless, it was sold at an auction for 68,000 pounds in 2007. Some remarkable replicas have been built as well, but exactly what happened to Hitler's globe will almost certainly never be known. Number 2, the mysterious death of Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose was the leader of Indian nationalists during World War II and opposed British rule to the point of seeking aid from both Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. He is remembered as a defiant patriot and a hero of India. From the allied point of view, he was a dangerous traitor. The stories of Bose's life are worthy of a Bond movie, from escaping British surveillance, fleeing to Italy, covert meetings and taking different identities. All of this is pretty much accepted as a fact. What is disputed however is the apparent death of Bose reportedly on the eve of an allied attempt to capture and try Bose for treason according to the reports on August 18 1945 a Japanese air force bomber took off bound for Tokyo on board the bomber were Bose and 12 other passengers and crew including a high ranking Japanese general soon after the take off the plane crashed in Japanese Taiwan The Japanese report his body was immediately retrieved, cremated, and his ashes were taken to place of honor at Renkoji Temple near Tokyo. There are a lot of people that don't believe the story though. Some even have gone so far as to name the man whose ashes really sits on Bose's place. They say the ashes belong to Ichiro Okuro, a Japanese officer from Taiwanese army. It is claimed that the plane crash story was fabricated in order to throw people off the trail of real Bose. The entire country is still hoping they might one day find out what happened to their patriotic leader but it's not going to happen anytime soon. On December 1st, 2014, the National Democratic Alliance refused another request to make public the classified files that are being held on Bose. There are 39 files that have been withheld from the public in varying degrees. In some cases, their contents but not the actual files have been divulged. The government also refused to publish documents that have already been marked as unclassified. Many assert that if they were opened, the information contained in the documents could in some way harm India's relation with other countries. In 1999, one file came to light about sightings and subsequent investigations into the whereabouts of Bose that occurred in 1963, when it was believed that he was living secretly in Bengal. However, the government has refused to comment. Number 3 The Battle of Los Angeles It was in the early morning hours of February 25, 1942, just 3 months after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. The US had just entered World War II and the military was on high alert when it responded to what was believed to be another unprovoked attack above the skies of California. Witnesses reported a large round object glowing pale orange in the skies above Culver City and Santa Monica cruising along the Pacific coast. Air raid sirens sounded and searchlights began scouring the skies over Los Angeles as over 1400 shells from anti-aircraft guns barraged the mysterious object as it quietly moved across the night sky strangely however the anti-aircraft shells hit nothing despite the intense barrage no aircraft wreckage was ever recovered at least 5 people were killed although some sources say eight either from falling shrapnel car accidents caused by people trying to watch the battle in the air as they drove 
or from heart attacks induced by the shock. The next day, newspapers carried an eerie picture of spotlights closing in on an object in a sky filled with flak. But the picture had been greatly enhanced by artists and the object looked suspiciously like flying saucer, which would later fuel conspiracy theories that LA had been attacked by aliens. Later investigations would blame the whole mess on a stray weather balloon. Number 4. Disappearance of Raoul Wallenberg Swedish businessman Raoul Gustav Wallenberg is considered a hero of World War II. He was a humanitarian who saved around 60,000 Jews from Nazi-occupied Budapest in Hungary, providing them with fake passports, food, medical treatment and shelter. However, when Soviets advanced through Eastern Europe, liberating the region country by country, the Swedish businessman was arrested by the Red Army during the siege of Budapest on suspicion of espionage. Although the Soviets claimed that Wallenberg had died in his cell at KGB's Lubyanka prison on July 17, 1947, this account appears flimsy at best. Their explanatory document read, I report that the prisoner Wallenberg, who is well known to you, died suddenly in his cell this night, probably as a result of heart attack or heart failure. Pursuant to the instructions given by you that I personally have Wallenberg under my care, I request approval to make an autopsy with the view of establishing cause of death. I have personally notified the minister and it had been ordered that the body be cremated without autopsy. However, there are conflicting theories that refer to Wallenberg as Prisoner 7, who was subjected to 16 hours of questioning in July 1947, a week after he was supposedly died. The outside world remained unconvinced. In 1991, the Russian government agreed to look into the matter. The ensuing investigation concluded that, most likely, Wallenberg was executed at Lubyanka in 1947, possibly by administering of C2 poison, carbylamine choline chloride, which was used by Soviet secret police at the time. This would explain why the body was cremated quickly to avoid any complications from autopsy. However, this inference is speculation and the investigation was inconclusive. In the years since, various other claims have arisen, such as Wallenberg had been shot in 1947, that he was poisoned by other means or that he was beaten to death. More bizarrely, however, various prisoners right up until 1987 have claimed to have spoken to Wallenberg and some believe he was not actually murdered early and was instead incarcerated for up to 40 years. Yet, Soviet records still haven't been released explaining exactly why he was imprisoned in the first place or why he might have been executed. It has remained a mystery all these decades. Number 5. Where is the infamous Nazi Blutfahn flag? The case of the Blutfahn is a curious one. Seeing as the actual existence of the legendary and sacred Nazi flag has been disputed. Supposedly, the swastika flag designed by Hitler himself became such a key Nazi symbol when a white flag bearing the symbol in the center was carried and then covered in blood during Hitler's attempted beer hall putsch in Munich in November 1923. Carried by the SA, they were halted by the Munich police and placed the flag on the floor before some Nazi blood was shed on it during the resultant armed conflict. The story goes that the flag was rescued from the armed conflict and hidden until Hitler was released from prison, whereupon Hitler was allegedly given the flag, now attached to a new staff with a decorative finial and a silver sleeve commemorating the 16 Nazis that died during the Beer Hall Putsch. Despite the fact that the flag displayed by Hitler as the true Blutfahn contained no dried blood and was reportedly not even the same size as the one used in 1923, its legendary status still grew among Nazis. Hitler would display the Blutfahn at his annual Nuremberg rallies. The flag was last seen in October 1944, at one of the Heinrich Himmler's public Wollstone induction ceremonies. It was initially believed that the Allies destroyed it during the round-the-clock bombings of Munich, but many were unconvinced. Numerous people throughout the years have claimed to have seen the actual flag with some claiming it has been secretly been in their possession all this time. The true location or fate of this symbol of Nazi tyranny has never been revealed. Number 6. Die Glocke, the Nazi Bell It was called the Die Glocke, German for the bell. Reportedly, this wonder wolf, wonder weapon, was codenamed Project Kronos, 
and was given the highest classification. It was said to resemble a giant metallic bell, hence the name, approximately 5 feet wide and 10 feet high. It was composed of unknown metal and based out of Dyer Reis, a facility near the Wenzlaus mine in Poland. The bell contained two counter-rotating cylinders said to contain a metallic liquid called Zerum-525. Through an unknown process when activated, the bell would emit an effective zone of approximately 200 meters. Within this zone, crystals would form in animal tissue, blood would coagulate and separate, while plants would rapidly decompose. Reportedly, many of the original scientists died horribly during the initial test. The weapon was also able to rise off the ground and hover in the mid-air as it was meant to be launched over the northern hemisphere, detonating in the jet stream, releasing its deadly radioisotopes, causing the death of millions. There is no evidence to support the projects used during World War II, but there is evidence of its development. The main source for this report is the Polish journalist named Igor Witzkowski who claimed to have read about the weapon in the KGB transcripts of the interrogation of SS officer Jakub Sporenberg. Sporenberg claims that the project was under the direction of SS General Hans Kammler. As Germany was being invaded by the Allies, the entire Bell project along with project leader Kammler disappeared. Many believe Kammler was secreted into the United States, possibly with his prototype of the Bell. The only physical trace of the project is ruins of a concrete framework called the Henge, about 3 kilometers from the main complex of their race, that may have been a test rig for the anti-gravity and propulsion experiments with the bell. The same design have allegedly been sighted across the United States, leading some to believe that the US government has the Nazi bell and is experimenting with it. Number 7. Foo Fighters most people may know the Foo Fighters as a Seattle rock band founded by Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl. But the term was actually first used by Allied aircraft pilots during the Second World War to describe unidentified flying objects. Originally coined by the US 415th Night Fighter Squadron to report any UFO sightings during World War II, it became former military language from November 1944 as well as referring to UFOs spotted over the European and Pacific battlefields. The term could also be applied to any mysterious aerial phenomena, such as the strange objects flying past the planes in this picture. Believed originally to be secret Nazi aircraft sent for reconnaissance, most pilots reported seeing strange glowing balls of light that maneuvered around the aircraft at night, flying at great speed. Sometimes the mysterious lights would chase the planes, other times just keeping pace with them. Usually, radar operators were unable to see the mysterious UFOs on their screens, but sometimes they could confirm their existence. A scientific investigative group named the Robertson Panel met in January 1953 in order to determine exactly what these supposed UFOs were and return some findings, although none were conclusive. One theory concluded that the UFOs were St. Elmo's fire a weather condition where a strong electrical field causes a glowing discharge to emanate from the certain objects. Another theory is that the ball lightning was the cause. This is when luminous, spherical objects during a thunderstorm last longer than the lightning bolts and remain around in the atmosphere. Most pilots who witnessed the strange glowing lights that chased their planes dismiss these theories. This is one mystery that will likely never be solved. Number 8. The Amber Room it was called the Eighth Wonder of the World. The legendary Amber Room from the Catherine Palace of Sarkoi Cello near St. Petersburg was known worldwide prior to the World War II. It was actually built in Prussia in 18th century and then transported in pieces to Russia as a royal gift to Tsar Peter the Great in 1716. The room was entirely comprised of beautiful amber panels with gemstones, gold leaf trim and mirrors. Following the German invasion of Soviet Union during World War II, the Amber Room was disassembled and transported to Königsberg in East Prussia and displayed at the Königsberg Castle. In January 1945, Hitler then ordered all the relics to be moved from the city. Although Erich Kaur, who was in charge of the Königsberg, fled before Amber Room could be disassembled. Furthermore, Königsberg endured heavy bombing by the RAF during August 1945 as well as being almost completely destroyed by the Red Army in April 1945 
and it is believed that the amber room could have been damaged as a result. However, numerous reports have come to light of people owning individual panels from the amber room, with some witnesses claiming the entire room was loaded onto German transport ship Wilhelm Gustloff sometime after Hitler's January 1945 order. Despite these claims, most investigators believe that the amber room was most likely destroyed during the bombing raids in 1944, though it cannot be proven. Subsequently, the Soviet government commissioned a replica of Amber Room to be built at 1979 at Sarkoyo Cello. Taking 24 years to complete, it is now available to be viewed. While a miniature Amber Room also exists in Klein Machnow near Berlin. Number 9. Who Turned In Anne Frank? Most people know something of the tragic story of Anne Frank. She was a young German Jew, 15 years old living in hiding with her family in Amsterdam during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands. She and her family were captured by Gestapo in 1944 and sent to Bergen and Belsen concentration camp. Young Frank died there, but left behind her now famous diary written while living in hiding in Amsterdam. From her family, only her father, Otto Frank, survived the concentration camps and published her diary as a testament to her life. And this tragic tale has asked an important question ever since. Who tipped off Gestapo and revealed the family's hiding place? There have been various suspects named over the years, most blaming Willem van Maren, the warehouse manager of the complex in which Anne Frank House was located. When allegations were made toward van Maren, all potential witnesses had died. Van Maren denies any involvement and even helped Otto Frank rescue the diary of his daughter after the war. Another suspect is the longtime friend of Otto Frank, Tony Ehlers. Lena Hartog van Bladeren, a cleaning lady, may have also turned over the family because she feared her husband would be arrested, and she is known to have testified that Jews lived in the property. In addition, other employees in the warehouse also revealed in 1948 investigation that they knew the family were hiding in the secret annex, meaning they were certainly suspects as well. A subsequent 1963 investigation located the former SS non-commissioned officer Karl Silberbauer, who arrested the Frank family. However, he claimed that he did not actually speak to the informant. He claimed his supervisor Julius Detman received the phone tip and then ordered Silberbauer and his team to investigate the claim. That man committed suicide in the immediate aftermath of Germany's surrender. There is no conclusive evidence as to who actually turned in the Frank family, and it will probably never be known. Number 10. The Disappearance of Flight 19 This is probably the most famous mystery of the war, although technically it occurred some months after the war's conclusion. It was December 5, 1945, a group of five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers, who came to be known as Flight 19, involved in a training flight off the coast of Florida. Lieutenant Charles Taylor was in charge of the navigation training flight that originated from Naval Air Station Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Some time during the exercise, Lieutenant Taylor reported that his compass was malfunctioning and that he couldn't ascertain the flight's position. It was decided that all the planes would stick together and when one ran out of gas and had to ditch in the ocean, all the planes would ditch together. The tower lost contact with the flight and it was presumed that they had run out of gas and had to make an emergency water landing. A PBM Marina flying boat was dispatched to try and locate the ditch plane's location. However, mysteriously enough, the tower lost contact with the marina as well. In all, 27 men disappeared, presumed dead, including the 14 original airmen. The Navy's original report into the accident determined that Lieutenant Taylor had a habit of getting lost and that he had led the junior members around in circles until they all ran out of fuel. It even alleged that the junior pilots knew where they were, while Taylor didn't, but they felt compelled to follow their leader into the Bermuda Triangle instead of back to Florida. However, they later changed the official report to reflect the loss of the planes to cause unknown. They have never been able to determine with any certainty the reason for Flight 19's disappearance, nor the loss of the PBM Marina. No bodies and no aircraft have ever been found. The mystery has only added to Bermuda Triangle legend. So yeah, those were the 10 unsolved mysteries of World War II. 
And if you have made it to the end of the video, then I would just like to take this moment to thank every one of you who have subscribed to my channel and helped it reach 20,000 subscribers. Honestly, the support I have been getting from you guys in the last few months have been absolutely amazing. So a massive thank you to each and every one of you.